What is going on, guys? Wise here, coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random matchup throughout the week, just one of those uh, random elite matchups against uh, We Are Spartans, one of the sister clans in the Spartans Legacy family. We knew we were going to have our hands full with this one, uh, so we just kind of rallied together and labeled it random elite instantly and just kind of snapped into midweek war mode. We can, uh, we've can, we definitely proven in the past midweek wars are not our forte, uh, but we managed to uh, scrape things together and come up with a great victory here. 2.0 comes away 78-69. Um, for for a midweek matchup was very very even on on the on the overall matching uh, for town hall 11s for both sides and then town hall 10s all the way down to number 15 for both sides so that's really nice to see you whenever you get these midweek matchups a lot of times they're uh, pretty lopsided the only kind of weird thing about the war was kane had an account on both sides wah, wah. so we just had him we agreed um we actually, it's nice to know that a lot of other clans handle these situations the same. Uh, they just basically said to Kane, you know, unfortunately, uh, just don't make your attacks. We're not going to hit the base. Uh, we'll remove you from the clan for the duration of the war just to make sure it's all fine and dandy on both sides. So that's what we did. So as you can see, Kane and Titan were left untouched and neither of their attacks were used. Uh, so going down the board for We Are Spartans, they did leave a one-star on this base and actually took four swings at it. I think that kind of hurt them a lot too, especially because I wasn't sure. I don't think Z-Bear here was part of the non-attacking deal. <laughs> Obviously, he used his attacks, um, but they didn't even attempt on his base. So it's kind of weird seeing four attempts on this guy um, when this guy was just left on hit. Anyhow, as you can see, uh, some struggles for Weir Spartans. They did have to use, I think, six or seven bullies to finish up those nines. And they even left one on the board. So, tough, tough day for uh, the Weir Spartans crew, but a good day for 2.0. Got our 10s uh, stepping in, taking care of their 11s, no problem. Nice percentage to you from Dennis on that one. I'm going to show this one real quick. Show, uh, show how we're doing our step-ups. A uh, few successful Town Hall 11 versus 10 bullies in there. Even a couple 10v10 trips. Uh, cleared the board all the way down. We did not have to use any bullies, although it did come down to our very last Town Hall 9 attack to three-star their last Town Hall 9 base uh, to clean it up with a bully. So really good job. I believe it was me and Rob and maybe Tritosh, whoever it was at the end. Um, Tosh wasn't even in. Oh, yeah, he was. No, it wasn't Tosh. I forget who it was. There was a third guy other than me and Rob waiting. Maybe it was Val. It must have been Val. Anyhow, uh, so nice job by the 9s, setting up the 10s. 10s got all the swings they could, helped clear up the 11s. So uh, just overall, great war for 2.0. Let's jump in and check some replays. I did want to check out Dennis's 72% two-star here on this uh, Town Hall 11. Uh, so, you know, has those max level Inferno Towers. Hard for me to tell if that's a max eagle. I'm pretty sure it is, though. But only thing really not done here is the walls, I want to say. You know, it's a 40-40-20. So, nothing to scoff at for this base. Um, I guess sorry, it does need its Expos upgraded. I think that's the only thing that's not done. But anyways, uh, you're going to see a lot of our guys are really loving uh, using this mass sort of baby drag. Uh, to take care of these boxy style Town Hall 11 ring bases. Now the goal here is keep this queen alive because she's going to be getting her ass beat on entry here. And you can see a couple quick rages just work right into those expos. Once the expos go down, I'm going to get another rage down here right away. Just keep her going. This is the focus. If you can get the queen to survive, think about these Inferno Towers, unless she stands like right in that little tiny bit right here or right here you know the inferno tires are very centralized so you can essentially have your queen just walk around the ring right keep her alive I think he's gonna have to drop one more raid spell here for in a second just to keep pushing through just nice patience the idea the queen's gonna now clear the whole 12 to 9 side basically leaving a free path right into the town hall the only thing you got to worry about now is this side so that's what he's got these couple valks I uh, believe he's got a CC full of Valks with his king, and he's just going to walk the king and Valks down this side, basically take out all of those buildings, leaving only one place for the nine baby drags he brings to go, which is right towards that town hall. You're going to see this happen in a minute. Any second, he's going to go ahead and send in these Valks and the king. 
Nice job with that queen though, clearing that side. She's about to make her way over to that third expo now. So really great value on this queen walk for Dennis. And then come the Valks, right? Immediately take an eagle to the face, but no big deal. He's going to have to hit that king ability quickly. Heal spell goes down just to keep them alive long enough, right? Clan Castle gets yanked out. Poison goes down. Works through that stuff. Eagle's smashing down on them, but under the heel, even though they are getting the value that they need here, just really need to basically clear out the rest of the buildings. And job is done. Queen finally goes down over there. King goes down. But this huge horseshoe, 62% of the base he's got, still not using 90 plus troop space and a spell. Even has an earthquake, I believe, is going to drop over the corridor just to soften up all these buildings. There it goes. In come the nine baby drags. There is no way possible that a couple Teslas and a couple Infernos are going to prevent them from getting that town hall. So down goes that town hall like butter. A couple more buildings will go down in the process. Already at 71, 72% now. Very, very sexy hit, Dennis. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, let's jump down. We're going to check out some of these town hall names. What do I want to start? Not too far down. i got a lot right in the middle of the pack here I want to show you. Start up, start off on Val here. <clears throat> oh, this was a kind of an interesting base. I like this little whiz tower setup he's got going here. Uh, mostly out of all of the... See, how, see where these air defense placements are? I mean, yeah, like that's perfect whiz tower placement. Um not in range of not even one maybe if a hound was like on that odd corner that whiz tower would target it same thing with this one but other than that very very uh, good whiz tower placement i thought nice little sneaky tesla farm so val just goes ahead and recognizes that takes the entry right in at the teslas take care of those very very quickly get them out of the way because they are a big threat to your raid whenever uh whenever you got hogs whenever you got pretty much anything you know those tesla farms if you're not prepared for it, you don't have uh, the heal spells or enough hogs, you don't have enough units to break through it, it will will punish your raid. So it comes that clan castle, poison goes down. It is a baby drag, a bunch of gods, and a Valkyrie. Very, very common clan castle right now. I'm doing almost the same thing. I do a baby drag with uh, a witch and the rest gods. Just basically, you're just trying to trying to hold up a queen walk. You're trying to just... Just make her spend as much time as they can or as many spells or units as they can to take care of the clan castle. That's about all you can do with Town Hall 9 these days. So everything got let in. I thought this was an interesting choice to drop his king up here and not down with the rest of the pack. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Queen steps up, takes care of that defensive queen, takes care of that expo, and in comes the hogs. There's not much for these hogs to work through. Really only, um, you know, this little bomb area gets that heal spell down nice and quickly. It's got to work through a cannon. An archer tower, he's got a bazillion hogs to do so. Absolutely crush this base valve. Bam, bam, bam. Couple high hit point structures to go. It's tree in the bag. Nice little six pack for valve. Right. Moving one up the chain. It's 21. The great Patino. Bringing us a shattered, um, a shattered uh, bolo. Sorry, lost my mind there for a moment. A um, little tricky Tesla placement there. I thought that was kind of neat. Really helping prevent that funnel on that town hall. <laughs> but so Pitt really struggling. Really wants to get that started down as quickly as possible. I like this attack because I also like the choice of the earthquake here. Um, you might think it really doesn't open up that much of the base, but it's just such a wide mouth into the base. It ensures that even with uh, these kind of buildings standing on the sides where, you know, it's an incomplete funnel, I would say, everything still goes into the into this section of base, really. And he, uh, the goal here is to make sure two of these air defenses go down. There goes one of them. Queen is going to finish off that town hall, step up behind this golem, take care of the other one. So he goes ahead and just sends in the air, air portion of the raid. Just a couple balloons around each defense. Nice little haste spell there. Just going to throw those balloons right on into the base. <clears throat> Does need to worry a little bit that pathing to this air defense is sort of a, a longer distance, especially with that sweeper preventing anything from the, from the sort of 
2 o'clock to 3 o'clock side. But it goes down from the balloons. He dropped at 6. Down it goes. Down goes that air defense. Really just got to work to that bomb tower. Work on over to this last remaining air defense. Queen is still in there with the golem tank and four helping out with that ability still intact. Nice freaking job. Pup's going on a little bit of a chase of the king down here. As you can see, just some trash buildings to go in a mortar. Bam, bam. Now, one thing I've noticed too, I've been practicing my, um, my, uh, God, I always forget to call this the Bolalo, Bolo, what's called the Bolo. I know everyone always makes fun of me because I can never get it right. The Bolo, I've been practicing these Bolos a lot. What I'm finding more often than not, it always just comes down to time. You can generally um, plan the base out very well, but if you don't save enough cleanup troops, uh, more often than not, you will fail because uh, the balloons are slow, right? You don't have a ton of a kill squad. You don't have a bunch of extra Valks kind of crushing through through uh, defenses or through trash buildings. So time is always an issue, I find, uh, at least for me. So something to think about, guys, when you're doing your bolos. Always keep that extra wizard in the bag, maybe a couple minis. Never hurts. So Lime is really doing this P.E.K.K.A. smash very, very well. He's loving it. Getting that nice wide funnel with these baby drags on the outside. <clears throat> the idea here is he's going to break four healers, walk his queen basically right up into the middle section here. Goes ahead and gets the P.E.K.K.A.s down. There's really only one spot for them to go. They're going to bank off of this stuff and start walking their way down to these buildings. And then everything's just going to go smash right in to the queen chamber. And it uh, doesn't even bring wall breakers. The Pekkas do go through those walls fairly quickly, those big heaving swings. So down it goes. Valks are in now, going to shred through that wall, immediately smash that queen. Love when the queen takes those boulder smashes to the face. <clears throat> nice little raise spell, getting good value on this kill squad. Just absolutely gutting this base. Bowlers are in, Pekkas are in, Valks are helping just smash through walls. Everything works their way to this back end little Tesla farm, but it's not going to be enough. Drops a couple balloons here just to help out. Couple little back end balloons just to get right in on top of these Teslas while those units work through the work through the walls there. Nice little cleanup wizard might have dropped it down on this uh, gold mine there line because it would have worked its way right up to that stuff and you got nothing over there. But how do you critique a tree? <clears throat> Absolutely killing it with this Pekka smash. This expo is going to be a little bit of a problem too. It is locked onto the healers, which is nice. Uh, Queen's going to stand there, beat through that wall. Finally, the healer goes down, but the queen will eventually get to that expo. Pekka's going to smash through this stuff, tanking for those bowlers. Hound locked onto the Pekka, that's absolutely perfect. Just need to get those bowlers in to that Wiz Tower. <clears throat> Have these Valks moving on down to this section of wall to beat through to this Bomb Tower. It's definitely tree in the bag here, just a matter of time. Wizard Tower, Expo, Bomb Tower, see you later. Nice hit line. <clears throat> What do we got next? 18. Robbie. Rob's always very creative. Um, I find he like almost always tries to find a way purposely to bring at least a couple dragons to his raid. Uh, he's a very, very pro dragon kind of guy. Um, nice little zap way goes down. That air defense at six. Just going to buy that baby drag. More time to create a, a, a nice, nice funnel over on this side. Goes ahead and drops that king and queen in. Uh, just going to suicide them and walk them up towards this defensive king. Right along beside this defensive king, you're going to see in one moment, is a row of uh, Teslas. So it's kind of nice that he really only used a couple, couple of baby drags worth of troop space and suicided his heroes. He's going to, you know, got the zap quake down. Going to take care of this Tesla farm at the same time. Drag swap goes in right on top of this queen chamber. Nice and clean drag swap. I think a lot of people forget about this in building your bases. When you put your queen chamber like this with no buildings to funnel on the outside and you can essentially, this little square of busted building, you can just drop the drags there and the queen's going to lock on and suck in right away. That is definitely worth 40 true space, especially when there's no air defense around. Now these drags are just, I, I'm pretty sure one of these drags even, maybe even both, live to the end of the raid. But as you can see, <clears throat> Hounds are now in, balloons are now in, sprinkled in on those archer towers. Just got to work their way over to both of those air defense. Kind of very, very close proximity on these air defense. So the hounds do go down very quickly because they're taking uh, two air defense shots to the base. 
Third Hound finally makes its way in there, doing a little bit of tanking. Balloons take care of that last air defense. He's got pops all over the base. Like I said, both these dragons are still alive. Down goes that wizard tower. Dragons did great cleanup work. Great job at this 3 o'clock. Good, good value on that 40 troop space, Rob. <clears throat> you may like to, you know, I do the same thing with witches. I always try and find a way just to bring a witch, if not two witches, um, just because I like them. I don't know. <laughs> I think they're powerful. <laughs> and I think you're the same way with drags, but even though this was uh, absolutely the right choice, great call on that one, buddy. Treat in the bag for Robbie. Um, what is next? I think we're into the town of 10 action now. That's right. No, one more by Chad. Chad's patented quad Lalo. I don't know if he actually has it patented, but he's loving this attack. He can pretty much do this to any base. Um, same thing with a lot of attacks at Town Hall 9. I'm finding it's still always a good thing as an attacker to try and um, break down the base and exploit its weaknesses using your attack. However, that isn't necessarily 100% necessary at Town Hall 9 anymore. Um you can kind of fit a few different attack styles into almost every base as long as your execution is on point. <clears throat> so what I'm finding, you know, I do this with Veeler because I just find it so powerful. I never have, uh, you know, I, I get a lot of triples, uh, fresh hit triples with it. So, I mean, I generally a lot of the time try and fit that attack into the base. Um, might not necessarily be the always the best way to do things, but it is possible. Uh, so if you're very comfortable with an attack, it's I always talk about how it's more important that, oh, excuse me, it's more important that you are comfortable with the attack, you're comfortable with the deployment, you're comfortable knowing what goals you have for your kill squad or your troops, as opposed to trying to like fit something crazy. I could never do this attack in a war right off the bat. Like even if the air defense were very exposed, I mean, I probably still wouldn't opt uh, to do a quad Lalo like this. I'm just not, you know, I don't envision balloon pathing as well as I do Valk pathing, I would say. Um, so that's kind of why I lean towards the attacks that I'm more comfortable with. Because if you can really envision where your pathing is going to go and you can kind of see how the base is going to go based on the army you're bringing, that's what the most important thing is. If, you, if you're not sure what rotation your balloons are going to take, if you're not sure where you have to reinforce the balloons to ensure they don't stray from their path and they just kind of work around and start joining up into this death ball as you sort of pick off outer sections of the base, you can't do that, then this probably is not the tack for you. But if you're the air master here, like uh, Mr. Flower is, uh, you're going to be able to pick apart bases left and right. You know, I know uh, a lot of guys, a lot of guys in the clan really opt towards um, uh, just the the bolos or or even something like this with a with an interesting quad quad lalo, nice little max out on the CC. Flower comes away with the tree star. Nice job, buddy. Um, now we're into the town hall ten. We got Dennis again. Great war for Dennis here. Nice. High percentage two star on their town hall eleven, and then comes away with the T uh, ten versus ten trip. Obviously, you know I've been talking about this in a few different recaps, sort of the state of town hall ten. Some people agree, some people don't. You know, I had someone comment um, from he is in tactical ink. He made a comment on one of the videos I made, and I was kind of I, I was sort of bashing on the state of town hall ten right now, and he was like, yeah, you know, like. Uh, he, he was saying he, he gets almost a triple every war against max Town Hall 10s. Obviously not Town Hall 10s like this. These are not exact. These aren't, aren't what we're talking about when I'm talking about the difficulty at the Town Hall 10 level. I'm talking about maxed out Town Hall 10s, uh, very high war weight bases that are very, very tough to three-star. And I'm not saying they're impossible. And, you know, in response to, um, sorry, I forgot what his name was, but he was from uh, Tactical Inc., yeah, I, that's great that, you know, there are some people out there that can pull off those crazy Lalos that that I'm sorry to say that there's definitely on every single rate, there's a little portion of luck involved. If you don't have, if, if your troops don't path the right way or your queen kind of go, like, there's just so many room for variables at this town all time level. I mean, I just don't think it's as forgiving for, 
um, the more common person in war. And I know that's not necessarily what we want to fully cater to, but when really there's only a small handful of guys at that level, at the top level of play that can come away with these triples, well, what hope in hell does that have for anybody underneath that level? Like if it's that hard for somebody who maybe gets one per war, but they're, you know, just absolutely amazing with uh, with these levels. Like, look at this. Look at this attack by Dennis. This had a level one and a level two Inferno. Almost all Town Hall 9 defenses. And yeah, there was a few mistakes made. You know, this air defense is still up. But Dennis is going to barely pull this one out by the skin of his teeth. And this is against a weak, weak Town Hall 10. And I'm not saying it couldn't have been uh, executed better. I'm just saying there is definitely a, a substantial portion of luck involved in all of these attacks, um, as there should be. But it's just it's it, there's far too much. I find I, I just I don't know the way to explain it. I don't want Town Hall Ten to be easy, but it, there definitely just needs to be a little more viability. And then one other thing, I, one other point I will make uh, in, in comment towards the, the the guy from Tactical Inc.'s comment is that's great that yeah you can Lalo some of these bases um but that's about it like again we're funneled in to basically only having one potential attack almost and again it's again very base dependent I, i'm speaking in generalizations for town hall 10 when there's obviously certain situations that this is not the case but we're funneled now into basically saying the only way to three star a max town hall 10 is if you're good at lalo it's not, can you break down the base and exploit a couple things and bring a few different troops that all have different purposes? It's, can you lalo this base? Can you get two air defense, a queen, maybe an inferno tower on the clan castle with a kill squad using the least amount with that kill squad to achieve those goals and then back end laloing? And I like that that's an option, but that seems to be the only option in Town Hall 10 right now. And even still, I mean, I'm seeing Town Hall 11 versus 10 dips fail left and right and left and right. And that isn't right either. It's not. Um, you know, 11 should be having a way higher success rate bullying Town Hall 10s, and, and it's just not there. And it's not even just our clan. It's not that, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it across the board. Like I showed you in that War Whales War, both sides, left and right. And these are some of the most skilled attackers out there. So, you know, I, 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 although I agree with some of the things the guy commented on, it is possible, but it's just there's such a small niche of people um, that it's possible for that it's just it's just killing the fun for a lot of for a lot of people out there. So I got one more to show you here. It's our uh, our man Hood Rat going in. Um, surprise, surprise, another Lalo. This is a really nice attack, though. Uh, just love the, love the truth. Bringing the eight bowlers. The idea with the bowlers is it's just bolstering your kill squad. So it's a shattered Lalo uh, with the bowlers just to give you that push into the base. Um, goes into this 9 o'clock chamber, lets the golems in first. Bowlers in nice and tight, right in behind the golems. King and queen go into. Poison goes down, taking care of those Valks. Down they go. Up comes that baby drag. Everything's going to lock on here in one sec. Good the, good the bowlers kind of got held up there for a moment. Didn't get touched by that giant bomb. Jump spell down. Queen is dead. Clan Castle is now dead. Air Defense 1 and 2 are taken care of. So <laughs> there you go. Inferno Tower. I'll pause it right there. <coughs> this this is the, what you're going for in these attacks, whether it's a level, they're level 2 Infernos or level 3 Infernos. It's just going to take you a little more to get there against the max base. But this is the idea, right? If you can get 2 Air Defense, get the Queen, get the Clan Castle, just like we've talked about, for the last year that I've been on this channel, you're looking in pretty good position to run your Lalo. Now, a um, couple of balloons going in here. Nice, nice, good balloon deployment too by Hoodie. Gets a couple in on these outer defenses with no chance of air defense. Few in, backing up the hound, going in at that uh, air defense number three. Nice little free spell just to keep it alive on the Tesla, the Inferno, and the air defense there. So really good placement of the freeze. Nice little raid spell, going to push everything right in on top of that air D. Down it goes, going to push on over to that Inferno Tower next. Still has those hounds, um, you know, unburst, right? Does want them to burst at this point. 
I believe he gets one of them too. Just has to work those balloons on over. There goes that first one. Might even get that second one to burst with all those Teslas there. <clears throat> Throwing everything in. Yep, right at the last second that he needs it here. It's going to pop. Bop, there it goes. But balloons are already raining on top of that stuff. Pops are helping and things out. Just got to smash that arch tower. But again, you know, I mean, although this was a definitely a cleaner attack than the one from Dennis we just saw, um, it's a lot of it's just the way things are timed a lot. I don't know. I don't know. There's just it, there's too much luck involved. I'm not saying there was luck involved in that. That was a very, very nice stack. But same token, I don't know. It, it is what it is. I mean, let's look at some of these. Big Papa, 94% fail against, against a base like this, right? Level 2 Infernos. I mean, we shouldn't be failing. I mean, a, a BP is a lot more consistent than that. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just doesn't feel right at this point in time. The game, the game hopefully, hopefully we'll get a few changes in here. You know, Maverick failed there. DI failed there. Sorry to point out the uh, the tip fails, guys, but it's a, it, to me it's a big piece of the game right now. It's a big, you know, it's like it's like the war of dips. However many town hall elevens can be successful at dipping on the tens, that's, that's sort of where the game's at right now. And if you happen to get you know a couple th ten three stars against uh, some lower weight tens, then that's that's just helping out. But I don't know the name of the game right now to me is. Um, successful 11 versus 10 bullies and I don't know I don't I don't like that I don't like saying that I don't think that's where the game should be but anyhow thanks for the war we are Spartans always a pleasure matching up against your family uh, I know you guys had a tough day so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully next time we won't have Kane on both sides and we'll have to make these little freaking rules and uh, we can just have at her but once again thank you great war nice job 2.0 that'll do it here for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help it bag that next tree start till then I'm out